Al Shepard positioning the camera. Okay, if you tilt it just up slightly, Al, that'll be it. Got good? You got good estimates on it now? Okay, that's uh, great. Then you can go shoot the uh, solo end now. Dr. Edgar Mitchell, 40 years ago this month, you were landing on the moon. Let me just say, that's really cool. Well, I didn't think I used those words. That cool wasn't a good expression back in those days. But whatever the equivalent was, we were there. How amazing was it? How wondrous was it? During most of the descent to the surface, we were, uh, the way the spacecraft was oriented, we were on our back coming down feet first, so we couldn't see the surface. Only when we got with uh, about 10,000 feet above the surface and pitched up could we really see where we were. And now that was nice. We, we knew we were right where we were supposed to be when that happened. This was Apollo 14. This was the, the third successful lunar landing. Uh, Apollo 13, of course, famously didn't quite make it there, but you were the sixth man to walk on the moon, correct? Yes, our mission, uh, the first guys were to prove that we could do what they did up to that point. Our mission was to uh, start doing science on the moon, which is what Apollo 13 was supposed to do, but they didn't make it. So it, it was a science mission, but also sort of an Olympic sports mission, too. Turned it into that at the last minute, that's correct. <laughs> what many people remember, of course, is Alan Shepard hitting the golf balls into space. Unfortunately, the suit is so stiff, I can't do this with two hands, but I'm going to try a little sand trap shot here. Miles and miles and miles. But, but you had some fun, too. This is the greatest javelin throw of the century. See if it is. Oh, lefty himself, outstanding. He hit his golf ball, and uh, th after three whacks at it, and using makeshift equipment. And I threw a javelin using the staff from a solar wind experiment. And that was our, that was the first lunar Olympics. Right in the middle of the crater, spin yeah. stabilized. What the hell? Beautiful. Shepard gets credit for a pretty far drive out there uh, in space. But, but your javelin toss actually went further? By about four inches. Yes, and uh, we have the picture to prove where it went, and we have a picture of the the javelin and the golf ball right behind it. And that was fun, our fun and games here for the last few minutes before we got into the spacecraft. If they called you up right now and said, you know what, Dr. Mitchell, we need someone, we need a seasoned veteran like you to go to outer space, would you go? <laughs> well, it depends on what the mission was. But there's a cute story about that. When John Glenn went back into space at 77. Now, I just turned 80 this year. Uh, but when John Glenn went back into space in 77, people started asking me, and you're, don't you want to go back into space? And I said, well, of course, but I'm going to wait till I'm 100 and beat John's record. So you got, you got 20 years of preparation, so, uh, so start getting ready right now. <laughs> All right, Dr. Mitchell, thank you so much. Congratulations. It's an honor to talk to you. Thank you. It's been fun.